what are the signs and symptoms of the sexually transmitted form of gonorrhea? Well, let's start with how females are typically affected and then move on to how males are affected. The most commonly infected structure in females is the cervix of the uterus, which you can see half of the cervix of the uterus right here in this awesome sagittal dissection. But just to orient you a little bit further to this dissection, here you can see the pubic bone, you can see the bladder, the vaginal canal, here's the anus, and here's the body of the uterus, and again the cervix of the uterus right here. But when the cervix of the uterus is infected with gonorrhea, what are those symptoms? Well, what's crazy is that some studies have found that up to 70% of cases of gonococcal cervical infections can be asymptomatic, which again means that someone can have this infection and just be spreading it around unknowingly. But when there are symptoms, they typically include things like vaginal irritation and itching, abnormal vaginal discharge, and intermenstrual bleeding, which is bleeding between periods. Another commonly infected site in females is the urethra. And like the infection of the cervix, urethral infections can also be asymptomatic. However, in the majority of cases where the urethra is infected, 90% of those cases will also include cervical infections. And if there are symptoms of the urethra being infected, these would include things like dysuria, which is pain and burning during urination, urgency and frequency, which is frequent urges to urinate.